Hey, what's going on guys? I've got a 2003 Honda Accord here, and I'm gonna use it to show you a few things about the horn circuit, point out to you where the horn fuse is. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick. Now there is a relay as well, but unfortunately I can't show you where that is because it's actually built into this box assembly here. But I'll give you steps and ideas about how you can troubleshoot it. So the 20 amp fuse right here, that is for the horn. It's also for the air conditioning. Powers both circuits. But yeah, that's the fuse for you to check. Now the relay is built into this box, so I can't show you that. But I can show you where the horns are. There are in fact two of them. So there's one right here, another one right here. And you can see they have single wire connectors to them. So they rely on getting a clean ground through the chassis connection. And I suppose if the rust is bad enough, it could cause the horn to be weak or not come on at all. You'll want to check to see if you're getting power to this wire. If you are, then you know the relay and the switch and the clock spring is working. And maybe the horn itself is not working, or perhaps it's not getting a good ground. If you're not seeing a power at either of those connections, you may want to look elsewhere. Probably the first thing I would do is check for the operation of the clock spring. So the actual horn switch is right here. And the clock spring is the connection that allows for the wheel to turn without messing up the wires. So with the, tr with the top trim piece, uh, with the top trim piece removed, we can see the clock spring connection. I'll go ahead and get this out. Now there's a lot of different wires through here because there's a lot of different functions on the steering wheel. You've got to have at least one wire for each button, generally speaking. But the wire that's dedicated that's dedicated to the horn is gonna be that green yellow wire right there. So, pretty much the wire closest to the camera. And if you provide a ground to that wire, then it should engage the horn relay. So that's one thing you can do. You can apply a ground directly to the wire. Um, if you got an alligator clip, if you were clever enough, you could get in there and see if you measure a ground coming out of this clock spring connection. Um, but yeah, what I would do, I would provide a ground there and see if that makes the horn work. Um, by providing a ground there, you're basically bypassing the switch and the clock spring. So yeah, giving you a few things to check out. I hope it's helpful. Be sure to let me know if you have any questions, or more importantly, if you have any advice about troubleshooting the horn on the Honda Accord. Thanks for watching.